The wheels are in the house, so I'm gonna go get those, bring them in here, and probably not mount them right away, because we're gonna do the arrow, and in order to do some of the side skirt stuff, I have to take off the wheels. So we'll probably just jack this thing up and leave it on jack stands and then do the, all the arrow and then put the wheels on. I'm pretty excited. The wheels are really fucking awesome. They look really good. A little basic, but you'll see. Give me a second. So you can see I got my Heritage wheels refinished. Uh, these are only painted. I didn't get them powder coated. Uh, obviously it's not the best solution and uh, not the most durable, but I don't plan to have them like this for very long and I don't plan to have the car how it's going to be for very long, or at least uh, I'd like to change it up again pretty drastically uh, pretty soon. Um, so even though these look good and everything will look good, um, I do plan to change this. So that's why I wouldn't paint it. Anyways. I'm gonna go get the rest of them, and we'll bring them in here, we'll put them somewhere, and then we'll jack this thing up. Looking at all the damage that I've caused. They don't work anymore? I scraped it off. Oh. This car needs a lot of work before it's ready. It also needs registration. I gotta register it out here. Oh. That's expensive. Yeah. Because well, then I have to get new plates and everything. Yep. It's totally worth the twenty-five dollars now. That was all twenty-five bucks. The whole kit, twenty-five bucks. It's not bad. Yeah, I got to use it like twice, but honestly, pretty worth it. We don't need this anymore. I don't think I've used this thing yet. No, <laughs> oh, nice. So I've got to take off the front bumper to sort out some things and then I also want to do what I was told to do by Endless and that's take some Plasti Dip and Plasti Dip inside here where you can see the blue and then also inside here and so I'm just going to pull the whole bumper off since it's super easy and then I'm also going to assess some of this cracking that's been happening. If you guys remember this is where it was repaired from beforehand from whenever I first got the car and it started cracking again so I'm going to see if I can maybe try and drift stitch it or maybe just put a little piece of fiberglass behind there. Um, before I do anything with this car regarding paint or anything else, I'm gonna get a new bumper. This thing is probably gonna be thrown away in the end anyways, so I'm not really too concerned of what happens. As long as our lip can mount up there and then our new splitter from Street Arrow can mount up under that and all look nice, I'm not gonna be too worried about it. So hard on the floor. If you guys don't remember, this car was in a front end collision before I even got this car. And there's this little cage thing right here that holds up the radiator. 
and whenever I had the front bumper fixed, I had them kind of, you know, rig this thing up so it at least worked. And just from hitting the ground so much, it is so mangled and it's actually pushed up the radiator and broke this little top radiator thing. And uh, I think I'm gonna wanna get a new one before I go any further with this front bumper because this thing is so twisted and you can see it was kind of like, you know, hacked up and it's just, it's a huge piece of garbage. So I think what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna move on and just properly mount the side skirts, probably put the wheels and tires on, drop this thing on the ground, and then we'll just wait until we can get that thing in because I think that's gonna take about a week to get in if I buy it today. So first thing, I gotta get all this underside cleaned off. That way there's nothing in between the skirt and the body of the car. So I'm gonna wipe it down, get it all cleaned off, probably try and get some of this other stuff. You can see that the fiberglass is broken right there. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Um, and then we'll get our rivet nuts and start just drilling them in there and hopefully I got the right size so that way they actually fit. can see that blue right there whenever I'm at show. So I'm gonna plastic dip that, but I'm gonna have to wipe off this quick detailer because obviously this is like kind of like an oil and it won't stick to that. So I'm gonna wipe that down with some alcohol, spray both these sides, and then we can start going along there and actually mounting the, the whole skirt. I could probably do in a bunch of other areas, like in here and stuff, but that'll be finishing touches. Can you kind of explain to me how these things work? Obviously, you drill the appropriate size hole for this. You put that in there, and you squeeze it, almost as if it's a rivet gun. Did you see how hot that got? It's smoked. Do yeah. you see that bulge? Yeah. It pinches in between the front of it and that bulge is where the material is so then oh. it holds itself in place so that way you're able to leave that in there and then you're able to actually like put this on there and then have a bolt go into it oh okay 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 i got it so that way there's no like because obviously i can't get a nut on the other side of right. most of this but then you know whenever i don't really want to touch it i don't know if it got hot because you saw that smoke yeah. whenever i did that but then basically you know, you take it out, and then you just go like this, and then it comes off, obviously, when it's being held on. Okay. Know. Sometimes. We just made a quick run out to Ace. I had to go get these bolts. This is what we're gonna be using to attach the side skirts. And uh, I'm gonna mount up this piece right now, and then that'll give me some orientation as to where this needs to be, and then we're gonna throw the rest of this on. Really? <laughs> You're the one that ran into a parked car. Yeah, you know. Walked into, walked into. Ran into sounds kinda disregardful. good yeah I mean and it's on there pretty damn good
So my camera battery has been sucking lately, so we just had the battery on the charger for a little bit, and meanwhile we went ahead and made some stickers. Uh, this is a matte black, and I figured it would go along with everything else with the car, so we are going to get rid of the white. Um, I never had this sticker made, so then it's not really the same size as the rest of them. So we're getting rid of all these. We're going to replace them. I'm going to get rid of this just because I don't want the white. Uh, I didn't get any of those remade. I figured it'll be fine. There's no way you can get that jack out of there. Might be a little sketchy. Looks pretty good. Yeah. I'm happy with it. They look better than the silver with all the black, but I still think I prefer all the silver with the polished wheels. But that's okay. I think once I get the lip and all that together, it'll look really good, which actually I wanted to mock all that up before the end of this video just to kind of show you guys what it'll look like. And so we measured it off of this lip and I believe what I had asked for was four inches out in the front and then only like two in the sides. And uh, some of you guys were commenting on not only the fact that this is touching, but this kind of gets brought in a lot whenever it's actually mounted to the bumper. So it'll be out about two inches. I didn't want it sticking out too much because there's nothing really else that's sticking out that much. Um, but then the front, it should be pretty significant. I mean, you can see, I mean, it, that's a solid like four inches. So it's pretty serious. We're gonna have to get some splitter rods. We are gonna have to cut a lot of this part out so that way we can actually get some flow to the radiator. Um, Anyways, uh, I'll try and take the bumper and see if we can do it with everything. I just don't want to mess anything up. You can see how this will be brought in a lot though, right here. Once that actually is fitted and everything. But you can see, it's a pretty serious splitter. Like it's, it'll be pretty fat. Street Arrow does custom splitters. They obviously took my lip and did a custom one-off splitter for me. Uh, they have this template, so if you happen to have a vet and the same lip, you'd obviously get the same splitter I have. You could do different side splitters, uh, these little like canard looking things that come up on the side. I chose that style. You could do whatever style you want. You could probably design something, send it to them, and they'll do it for you. Anyways guys, I know my color choice for my wheel is uh, not the most exciting, but it just matches the whole car now. Uh, anyways guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and peace out.